Say it ain't so, Marie got stuck in the snow and everything in that dash lit up. So we'll be talking about the real problems and not so real problems that came about getting from getting stuck in the snow. We're also gonna be talking about Marie's ownership experience of this Badlands versus my ownership experience of both models. So stay tuned, watch to then because we do take on Dave from All Terrain Nations Challenge and we compare models. In this video, if you watch to the very end, you're gonna learn exactly why we actually got two 2.7 liter twin turbo V6s and that we didn't get the 2.3 liter. So we're gonna be talking about differences between the models, like, you know, getting the high package with leather versus getting the vinyl. How is that vinyl? How are the different bumpers, the screen? So we're gonna be talking all about that. Now, of course, we have test driven the 2.3 liter here on the channel before, and it's actually what made me fall in love with the Baja mode and the 360 camera on the 12 inch screen. So I am sold high package. We're gonna hear all about Marie's driving experience, not in this weather right here, but in cold weather. We're also gonna get this vehicle stuck and talk a little about what you need to have with the vehicle when you're driving around. So, you know, keep, in, keep always with you uh, some straps, a blanket, shovels, traction aids. So you'll see all about that. And you'll also see in this video how we had a little bit of trouble and actually had everything light up in the dash and it reminds us how Ford Pass can be very useful because it lets us know what's really going on. Okay, howdy ho everyone. Let's go check in on Marie because she's about to try and drive through the front yard before we go off-roading uh, and, you know, get really badly stuck. At least here we got the second Bronco, which is a Sasquatch, so it's higher up and it'll help us get out of it. But we're going to try to plow through some deep snow with obviously the steel bumper, not the little plastic bumper on the Outer Bank Sasquatch. So let's see what they've got to say here. Frameless windows may have their faults, but they don't freeze to the trim. <laughs> so, Mary Pierre, do you want to tell them what we're up to? Yeah, just uh, to make sure before we go off roading, because we had a, a big amount of snow, and uh, we wanted to try it in our backyard first. But um, as I see, <laughs> there there's more snow than I was expecting, so I'm not sure <laughs> we'll be uh, we'll be fine. But we will test it here uh, before we. Go. Obviously, yeah, we want to try this in your. Badlands, right? Because you've got that steel front bumper versus the plastic front bumper on the Sasquatch Outer Banks, which I think is pretty weak. I, I think I could have cracked it had I bottomed out on that yeah. little uh, snow bank, well, little snow bank, that 20 foot, 25 foot tall snow bank that I tried, that I more, more or less climbed up. But we'll try it with the more capable. Uh, this one is the lower one because it doesn't have the big Sasquatch tires. So if we get stuck, maybe it will be with that one. <laughs> so we'll, we need to try with, with this Yeah, one. well, if anything, I'll pull you out with mine, right? <laughs> She'll go, should go fine. So you're going to try this out with uh, co-host Winston? Yeah, he wanted his Bronco ride today. Okay, all right. So I'll let you get right to it. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> By the way, just real quick, how have you found the, having a Bronco so far? I really love it. I, I enjoy it in the winter. Um, but uh, at the same time, I hope I will uh, have the chance to enjoy it in the summer or beginning of the summer because I, I want to uh, roll top, top down and uh, yeah, the, I miss that a little. <laughs> okay, right on. So let's get right to it, put the pedal to the metal and get through some deep snow. With what Marie's about to do, we don't recommend you do this with your Bronco. We did have a bunch of lights light up in the dash and we definitely would not have been doing it with that plastic bumper we have on the outer banks. But let's just see how this steel bumper plows right through. Remember there's no fog lights to push or crack. And this is a healthy reminder to test and know your environment. <laughs> that didn't take too long, so I guess it's good we didn't go off-roading. Let's uh, try this out now in four low. So, Han, how do you get it into four low? Yeah, okay, so I push the button, and what's fun, because I, I don't understand what I'm doing, I never tried it before, so it says on the screen, okay, you need to uh, to put the, the car on neutral to uh, to be able to uh, have it, so yeah, that's fun, even if I never tried it before, I know uh, what to do. Uh, and it's all electronic, right? So you get yeah. to do it from the warmth of the cabin while I freeze outside <laughs> let's see it okay, now we'll, try it. well good thing we didn't go off-roading out into the forest I think we would have spent the day and maybe even with the second Bronco not been able to pull out off-road here it's no big deal 
So for some reason here, we've got a two wheel wonder going on. We're in four low and we've got a back wheel and a front wheel turning while we've got the two pinned wheels doing nothing. So let's see what mode is gonna get all four to turn because it's definitely, we're in four low right now. And I find it, uh, we'll have to lock these differentials. So I'll go help Marie do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so before we get Marie Pierre, a second Bronco to pull her out, and we show you all about, you know, hitching one vehicle to another, which is pretty simple when you have hooks. You just, you know, grab your big strap. You got to make sure it's a big, thick strap, ideally good for 15,000 pounds. Let's lock those diffs. So Marie, why don't you hit yeah. the little lock button over the back of the vehicle? The back? Okay. Yeah. And now hit the one that has a little lock symbol. In the front, huh? In the front, yeah. Okay. There you go. Now you got it, girl. Okay. Do I go back or yeah, go back? Back. <laughs> I don't think we can go in the front anyway. <laughs> well, looks it like. It feels like the snow. Um, the, the car is in the snow. Can move. It's not the time problem, I guess. Yeah, we call that getting jacked up. Yeah. Thank Honey, you. I'm searching the word in English. Honey, you're jacked up. <laughs> oh. Let's get you out. You need to push me. I need to push you. I need to pull you out. <laughs> now, if you don't have a recovery vehicle or a winch that costs $3,500, do keep in mind you need to watch your transmission and engine temperature to make sure that you don't overheat from all this forward and back rocking. I think if I make faces, it, it helps. If I make frustrated faces. <laughs> oh, you got it. It moves. <laughs> well, good thing we have steel bash plates under both Black Diamond and Badlands model. So steel bash plates, we're not worried if there's ice chunks on this one or whatever might be in the snow. Yeah, this is why I love the Badlands. It's less stress. And to avoid stress, keep the engine and transmission temperature low and ideally keep a shovel <laughs> and gear on you. Do you want the traction aid? <laughs> so that's a really good call, Marie. Why wear down the machine, put added wear and tear when we've got tools and even an extra Bronco to pull us out? So simply, I've got a crank, create a bit of tension, put the Bronco in reverse, and it'll be should be as easy as just cranking on that strap. Let's find out. Okay, you're gonna have to hop in it, put it in reverse, and get the we traction. Push. The little bit oh, of traction. I off have a traction vehicle. aid. Okay. Yeah, we'll get uh, we can get a traction aid underneath that tire. See if that helps. And with you in reverse, and me and forward. Well, let's hope we get this done. So, even a very small traction aid can help, even when we're pretty jacked up so how did that go it went well I'm surprised that the little plastic traction aid helped us uh, it was a gift uh, from my parents when I was 16 <laughs> never used it so uh, today I'm glad I finally used it <laughs> and so far have your back doors have they frozen shut yet have you had any problems with ice building up on the back wheel well no not uh, at all so that, that's pretty tough. I've only had an issue with it once. And how are you finding the, the cold weather? We had minus 28. How did you find the cold weather in the in this top right here? An addition one top, we can say. Oh, it didn't make a difference for me because it was uh, it was great. The, <coughs> the eating in the car is good. So uh, not minus 20. Uh, I was uh, happy to, to be in the car uh, with the eat and not outside. So that was pretty tough. Yeah, it was tough outside, but in the car, I really loved it. Cool. So, there's too much snow to off-road. We're finally unstuck, uh, <laughs> so we'll go for a little ride. I guess today we can even do uh, Dave from All Terrains. Dave and Kelly did challenge us to do a top-down snow drive, so I guess uh, we could do that today. How do you how, have you how have you found the Bronco so far in the snow? Uh, it's very good. Um, when the tires uh, slide in the snow, when I turn in the, in the street, um, sometimes it's like a little bit, but the car uh, bring it back uh, on the track. <laughs> yeah, it's got a really good uh, curve control yeah. system, and it's an intelligent 
uh, you know, this is intelligent 4x4, so it does a great job putting itself in a straight line. Actually, that's uh, definitely a category of tough. The other day, I got my left wheels in a corner, hitting up on some ice. I slid out by a foot, and the vehicle just brought itself right back before I even had time to correct anything with the steering wheel. So, very good quality, safe system. Uh, you know, way too much snow to go off roading. So, we'll just go for a little family ride. I've got Winston here sitting on me. And uh, we'll see how this goes. We're not worried one bit driving this thing in the snow, no matter what the speed. Okay, so um, when the, the Bronco was stuck uh, in the snow, after that I tried to park in the, <laughs> in the entrance and um, I have message of error for the, 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 the brake park. It says it's not available anymore and I have a, a few things that uh, light up in the, the screen yeah like the, the traction bar disconnect. <laughs> yeah I was saying that the bar disconnect needed to be serviced that the advanced <laughs> track needed to be serviced basically everything needed to be serviced and I how was a little bit afraid but uh, John said to me maybe it's uh, too much snow underneath and the sensors uh, gone wrong so uh, and now that we uh, were we're going on the road I guess the the snow falls and um, I have less uh, less icon in the screen uh, that says uh, something's broken. You need to service. So I, I'm happy now because we don't, didn't uh, broke the Bronco at all. So uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> so is the Bronco tough? Would you say? Yes, I really love the the motor, the power. Um, I love the tires, the big tires. It, it makes a difference on the road. So I feel comfortable in that car, uh, in the snow, uh, in the winter with the, 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 the ice. So yeah, I really love it. Yeah, you're loving the seats. They're the marine grade vinyl. You find it a tough material, even if uh, the dog's yeah. jumping all over the seats. And it's wide, it's comfortable. Um, and I really love the, the, the feel of the vinyl. Uh, I'm surprised. Because <laughs> normally you, you you could think, oh, vinyl, maybe it's cheap. It's like uh, we, we have on the boat. but. No, it's a really great look. Uh, Your fuel economy's been off. good. You've been doing yeah. only city, and what are you getting? Fifteen point one miles per gallon. Yes, and you uh, you towed the um, the AVT with the with that Bronco before, so uh, I think it's good. If you tow something and you only do city, that that's not bad, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the the tow rating's actually a funny thing because this is rated to tow 3,500 pounds, but it's the same F-150 transmission, 10 speed. It's the same 2.7 liter, six cylinder, twin turbo engine from also the F-150. And on the F-150, it could pull up to 10,400 pounds, but on a Bronco, 3,500 pounds. Why is that? Well, we've got these off-road shocks. It has a lot to do with mostly to do with suspension and probably a little bit to do with brakes so it's rated far less but it is a very beefy motor and when you're pulling you know 3500 pounds it's it's nothing for this powertrain marie you're very right it is very very powerful now i personally really like the navigation that comes in through the phone so you don't need sync 4 you do get navigation from your phone which is great i prefer google maps or Waze, and i also generally have preferred in the past talking with uh, the whole android system as opposed to sync 4 however we've got sync uh, sync 3 sorry but in sync 4 with the other bronco the high package bronco sync 4 actually works better than android auto it was uh the other day finding locations and actually got me to my off-road ATV trails whereas Google uh, Google was having a whole lot of trouble and wouldn't uh, put any accurate addresses in it was, it was gonna send me way out of town so it has been tough uh, the top has been tough despite people saying that it's extremely loud and cold and whatever some might say for attention uh, the top you know isn't that loud now the high package top or you know a later 2021 production has been going a whole lot better definitely is has a bit more sound deadening material but uh, even this bad land this base badlands top is a good top it's not that loud it has gotten the job done and in the snowstorm yesterday uh, many cars in front of me was uh, going slow uh, but with that with the big tires you can go anywhere you need to be careful it's for sure but uh, it was more easier it was like 
it was nothing for me in the Bronco. So yeah, and with so Marie has the KO2 BF Goodrich tires that we really like. Mind you, we've had some really cold weather, and they don't perform quite as well in really cold weather. But my Nokia's uh, LT3 on the, on the Outer Bank Sasquatch 35 inch winter tires, uh, full out winter tires. They're incredible. I was driving on the highway at a 115 kilometers an hour so about 70 miles 75 miles per hour uh, whereas other people were definitely not going that speed so I was actually able to use the left lane and plow through just about anything now this is actually very light snow on the road but we have got no issues with either set of tires both we're very happy with now speaking of tires of course they're important for acceleration for handling for braking but this vehicle does on its own have intelligent 4x4 and it's an absolutely fantastic system that decides how much power to send to each wheel, keeps you in line when you're going through a corner like we will be coming up, even when it's slippery out. But let me talk just a moment about the motor. We love the 2.7 liter because it has 415 pound-feet of torque at only 3,000 RPM. So it feels like you've got a beast underneath your foot and it feels a whole lot faster than it's zero to 60 mile per hour time of under six seconds so the good news uh, the, the park brake is on now so uh, just a little ride and everything is fixed <laughs> so it's easy with Ford and now you will see um, how it's easy to open the rooftop so we'll do the challenge this one is for your day <laughs> Ready. <laughs> so Dave from All Terrain Nation, this is for you. We're doing a top down snowstorm just ended. And you know, while we're at it, we're gonna challenge Dwayne from Bronco Wild Outdoors with the snow that he's getting to also do a top down snow drive. <laughs> not bad, not not too much wind coming in. It's not that cold. It's not like last weekend <laughs> yeah right now it's only uh, minus 12 Celsius which I think is about 18 Fahrenheit yeah, with the heat uh, in the car it's just a little breeze on the top of her head a nice light summer breeze would you say yeah <laughs> welcome to Canada now when you put the top back on so that the weather doesn't get in, just make sure that the middle section does line up snugly against the trim before you do those top front clips. So we got ice underneath this snow and the Bronco is a go, well pretty much everywhere machine. Now it won't go through a three to four foot snow bank, not disappointed there, didn't, uh, didn't really didn't really expect it to get through that. What would have honestly gotten through a four foot snow bank that was compact snow but had it been fluffy enough we would have just plowed right through and gone right through our yard but you can see it is pretty snowy here in Canada we're also up kind of in the mountains so uh, well we're testing out the KO2 BF Goodrich tires minus 12 or 18 degrees Fahrenheit and they haven't frozen yet they're still driving great on this snow which has ice underneath it we found that out from our very own basically front yard that's why the Bronco stayed stuck it was just ice underneath all the tires and while well, we were pretty jacked up uh, we got snow jammed underneath every sensor so everything said it needed to be serviced and was no longer functioning including the parking brake like Marie said but just taking a drive getting this thing a little warmer and shaking it up on these bumps and well enough snow got loosened up and you know this does show that not that much wind actually comes into the vehicle. Oh, it's not that bad. We are loving our Broncos and we've got the 2.7 liter. Fantastic. Way more power than we need, but I'm power hungry, so I love it. I find it perfect. And I think for us, the 2.3 liter with four door would have just been, it would have been fine for getting around. Uh, it had been fine for towing. I would have pulled 3,500 pounds. I'm confident with no issues because the Ranger does it with no issues at that weight rating. But uh, would have gotten better fuel economy, but we wouldn't be having quite as much fun. The 2.3 liter will accelerate. It just doesn't feel nearly as powerful uh, as, uh, as this 2.7 liter twin turbo V6 it does. 
Who cares about fuel economy when you're having fun? <laughs> right? You're starting to be more pedal to the metal? Yeah. I, uh, I guess, uh, I'm starting to have a Bronco brain too, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I see a pile of snow and I'm like, oh, I want to try that. <laughs> yeah, you're starting to want to go over sidewalks and in the mud and jump it through snow as well, aren't you? <laughs> so proof that uh, not that much wind gets in. It's minus 12 or 18 and you know I don't have a toque on. Marie, well. Just, I always wear mine in the She winter. always wears her toque in the winter but we are not you know, Winston needs his coat, but uh, it's not bad at all. The heating system's great. Not that much wind gets in, and when the top's down, I really can promise you all that, you know, up here in Canada, up north, we are fine with the soft top, so I'm sure no matter where you are, the soft top is just fine. Now, we haven't done any minus 40 degrees Celsius yet, but at minus 28, and that's without wind chill, we were both very happy in our soft top Broncos. Life was good. Winston's happy, top down challenge done and completed. Uh, not even wearing gloves here, so really happy with the Bronco. And you know, the Bronco has been tough. We haven't had any water coming in through the top. I've done all sorts of pressure washes and even with the, you know, some pretty intense pressure, enough to kick Marie back with the pressure gun. We haven't had any water coming in through the top. But you need to be careful. Yeah, you, you need to be you're careful. careful when you do it. Yeah. yeah, we don't put the pressure top right, you know, an inch away from the soft top because then, yeah, 3000 uh, psi, it could, you know, potentially mark up or rip the the top and actually on the fender on the outer banks the plastic fender by accident i went right over the plastic and it was right against it and i put a little mark in it uh, but that's that's my own fault that's not on ford that's not on the bronco that's uh, on me so i can definitely say that i would rate the bronco extremely tough and we'll get more into that uh, in future bronco videos so stay tuned like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on anything thank you so much for watching have a great weekend we're gonna get back to some family fun